What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Hey, today I'm going to do an update on Jesse. Um, if you guys have been following uh, very long, you know Jesse's my steer that we bought. And he's been going downhill in a hurry. And then he came back up a little bit and then he went back down. And now he's starting to do a little bit better. But I'm telling you guys, he was on the verge of death whenever we first got him. Um, we doctored him up, been babying him for a couple weeks now. And uh, I'm going to show you guys him. We'll walk over there and take a look at him. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you guys a new toy I got. And then we're going to go check on Jesse with it. And we're going to go check on the pigs and some other stuff. I just want to show it to you guys. And here it is. I got the DJI Spark drone. And it's, look how little that sucker is. Um, I've had drones in the past, but they're little toy ones. This is the first pretty much real drone that I got that's, you can actually take good video footage with it. My buddy Daniel uh, from Arms Family Homestead uh, talked me into getting one. He said he absolutely loves his. He uses it all the time. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys checking on Jesse with it. And uh, it's a little windy out here, but we'll see how it handles it. All right, guys, I got the drone over the pig pen. Uh, we're going to check their feed with it. You guys, you guys can see the feed's empty, so me and Hallie's going to go feed them. Man, guys, isn't that drone? This drone is, let's see here, what a tool. This is, this could be a, a reliable tool out here on the homestead, like you guys seen. Hey, if I wanted to be lazy one day, I could just fly the drone over there, check on the on the water, check on the feed for the pigs, I can go check on the chickens. I mean, this is, I call it a toy, which it, it, it is and it's not. It could definitely be a reliable tool. Uh, just like I, I actually went and checked the bees a couple days ago with it. And I mean, you can just see everything. There's a lot of activity out there. It was just overall, it's a cool thing. And I think I'm gonna be able to use, use this quite a bit. DJI Spark is what this is. I'll put a link down there in my Amazon account and you guys wanna check them out. What's up guys? Wasn't that awesome? I'm glad Daniel taught me to get one of these. I've been on the fence for a while, but he said he absolutely loves this. So I got that little drone. 
Um, the one downside to uh, the the sparks is the battery life is only like 10 to 15 minutes, more like 10 <laughs> minutes. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about Jesse here. Look, we got Jesse back behind me. Um, they're wanting some grain, so let's feed them. Oh yeah, I will tell you one thing, these sheep are getting too fat, so I'm going to have to start separating because they're not used to just getting uh, feed like this all the time, which they haven't been, but they're be getting more than usual, and I could tell they're already gaining weight. So uh, from now on, when Jesse eats, either Jesse's getting uh, pinned up right here, or the sheep are going to get pinned up right here or over there. So that's one thing we're going to have to change. You guys can see Jesse's appetite is back. Um, he's doing night and day difference now, guys. And I know a couple, like last week, he was doing pretty good. And then the next day he got the squirts and runs or whatnot. But I can already tell he's starting to fill out a little bit more. Um, he's getting more food in him. He's drinking a lot of water. He's overall, he's just doing a lot better. Look at him. He ain't shy. He's made a couple buddies, only when there's food around. You can see him. So, so far, so good. Um, like I said before, Jesse was down for the count on the verge of death. Uh, and the way I, and the reason why I said it, because his brother had, had died two days after we got him. Uh, so Jesse, I, I, caught, I caught him and treated him early and quick, and uh, that saved his life, you can see. And a lot of your guys' um, comments and uh, suggestions uh, helped a lot, and I really do appreciate you guys, all the help and support that you give, uh, you give me and Jesse. But I don't know, guys. The whole reason why we got Jesse is to raise him for the freezer, obviously. But he's kind of become like a little mascot of the, of the hobby farm, homestead, whatever you want to call it. And I don't know if we're going to be able to eat him. So we might have to sell him or trade him or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> he's becoming a pet, and that's not good at all. Uh, so I might end up having to switch him out with my friend that's raising him. I, I don't know what we're going to do. But that's a long ways from now, so we'll just see how things go. Hopefully he makes it that far along. But you guys know that uh, we have uh, – you guys know that um, our homestead, uh, we raise chickens and uh, for eggs. Now we got meat, meat birds uh, for the meat. We raised a steer last year for meat. We have Jesse for meat. Uh, sheep can be for meat, but these two aren't. There's going to be uh, two breeders. Um, we got little pigs that are for meat, which you guys seen. So we, we get these animals, and, and more times than none, they don't become pets at all. Actually, I've never kept one as a pet. Uh, they've, they've always served a purpose. They've always had a nice healthy stress-free environment here on our 10 acres and uh, that's probably what's going to happen to jesse too unless one of you guys want him to know uh, but we might end up just switching them out i've heard a lot of people say they raise their own pigs and uh, their kids will get attached to them so what they'll do is trade out a friend or family member that's raising also so they know they're not eating their uh they're not eating their 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 pet or or the animal they raise but my daughters haven't haven't came across that uh that feeling yet um they know they know the purpose of why we raise uh the animals that we do raise and i've taught them since they're a little bitty they're still little bitty they're only going to be eight nine hadley's birthdays in a few days uh but th they know and um you know they haven't got too attached to any of them even the bunnies they weren't attached to they even eat, uh, ate some rabbit stew with me so that's it guys i just wanted to throw up this uh vlog for you guys um about Jesse, I've had a ton of messages and comments. Uh, see how he's doing, and you guys can see his appetite. Like I said before, is back. He's up, walking around, and eating. He's he's doing a lot, a lot better. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated on him. And uh, if anything else comes up, uh, I'll let you guys know. Look at him. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, smash that like button if you get a chance. Uh, if you like the video, like what you see. Um, if you if you're not subscribed to my channel, so you please subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications. I really do appreciate all you guys' support. Thanks for watching.